in Liberia, the rights of children are violated on a daily basis. My name is Abraham Keita. I'm from Liberia and I fight for justice for every child who have felt the pangs of injustice. Abraham Kaita was born 17 years ago in West Point, the largest slum of Liberia's capital, Monrovia. The country faces massive challenges. More than 80% of the people live below the international poverty line. Hunger, disease and violence are part of daily life and children's rights are often violated. When Kaita was born, the country ripped itself apart in a brutal civil war. When he was five years old, his father was killed while driving for a human relief organization. I, I want to do even more greater things than my father. Keita, his mother and siblings had to fight for survival in the slum. The man, when he are alive now, he will be happy for his son. Why he are done, the future. When Keita was just nine years old, his strong sense of righteousness was ignited. He chose to become an active participant in a peaceful demonstration to protest the brutal rape and murder of 13-year-old Angel Togba. Keita was determined not to let the perpetrators get away with it and felt compelled to stand up for justice. I felt she could have been one of my sisters I felt um, she could have been a close friend of mine. But again, I said to myself, um, I too could be sodomized. Just as she was being raped or she was seen hanged, I could have been the one in that shoe. So what I did was to be a part of the demonstration, was to be a part of the protest. When I saw you at the age of nine, I saw a lot of strength, a lot of energy and a passion to be able to transform his environment. With that demonstration, a young and passionate advocate for justice was born. Over the past seven years, Keita has taken a leading role in the Liberian Children's Parliament. Through his many petitions, he has brought numerous accounts of injustice against children to the attention of the national government and was the driving force in getting the Children's Rights Act passed in 2012. Last year, um, you know, when the Ebola crisis started, West Point was quarantined unexpectedly. A 16-year-old boy named Shaki Kamara was shot. And uh, according to the law that is written, uh, that is the Liberia Children's Law, uh, nobody should take the life of a child. I was very angry. We protested with petition our lawmakers that we want justice because Jackie Kamara was a kid. Keita's protest sparked a national debate and moved the government to acknowledge their responsibility. Only 17 years old, Keita is an important role model for children worldwide because he challenges the idea that children are silent victims whose rights can be disregarded. It may have a right to life, meaning you, can, you get a right to live. I want to see my country be a country where the rights of children are respected, the rights of children are promoted, um, and that their voice uh, is being adhered to. And as a young man, I feel I have a responsibility to change that situation, and that no matter the slum you come from, you can make a difference. No matter the slum you live in, you can move the world. Keita leads the rights for children's rights and justice in Liberia. He also lobbies for free education and even launched a children's campaign against rape. The boy is a good guy, a good mother. A proud, very proud. My dream is to see a world where every child will receive justice, will be saved from the pangs of violence, will be given the opportunity to participate in decision making. So that's my dream. Kaita shows that you can speak out and justice can and should be served. His fight for justice is peaceful and powerful. And that's why Abraham Kaita is the rightful winner of the International Children's Peace Prize 2015.